hey guys you're welcome and today we'll be doing step two of remote tax tutorials for beginners and this entails how to get tax or get on a project so a lot of persons are registered on remote tax and been there for a while and they are always experiencing mtq and the reason for mtq is not too far um, one of it is that you've not completed your training second is that Probably the tax that was given onto you that was uh, on your queue, you failed to give a very good quality on it, and therefore you were banned from that tax. That is another reason. And then, thirdly, you just don't have a tax on your task queue. So these are the three things I'm going to be dealing with shortly. So let's get started with the very first one. So here is the first one. We registered an account yesterday and we had to continue. So now I got this email and the first thing to do is to take the introductory course. A lot of persons don't go through the introductory course because it's no longer like before. Before we, as soon as we register, the first thing they ask you to do is to go through the introductory course. And after that, you go through the security course, but now it's separate so i have to just go like this and now you see it's in um spanish what i'll have to do is to go here and change it to en and so everything is now english here and change it to en everything is now english so we'll go down and continue I have done this before so I know what is about but if you are doing it for the very first time please I want you to read everything get acquainted with um, what remote acts until you should never install unauthorized software that's true Which of the following is considered a strong password? We can see that. Your friend is also a tasker. Your friend wants to learn more about the tax you are working on. Can you tell your friend? No. You are working on a very cool project and want to share it on social media, but you are not disclosing any confidential information about it. But can you post it? No. True or false? Phishing emails are fake emails that appear true. They appear to come from a trusted sender. Okay, so these are contacts you can call when you find something wrong. So we continue again. Then we are done with this. I think both the security and the security also in the same place. But let's check this. Let's check this out. Um, security course. So we change this one to English also. But this is not changing to English. I don't know why. Okay, it's now in English. You know, we found this in our email, so you can check your email. If you are just registering, you, also, you should also find it in your email.
and keep clicking continue continue I think almost the same question that was asked in the previous one so I think we should be able to answer it in a minute And um, since we are done, continue asking. So our task is empty still. We have to go to now. We see we are here. Now we have to go to a task that we can do and get the training done so that you can be attached to such that or you can wait until the tax a tax is assigned to you all right so now the training is done your introductory training is done so the next thing is training for tax so you can either wait for you to be assigned tax or you request for tax after completing the trading. If you're not getting tax, you go to Slack. You go to Slack and um, You go to Slack and then look for admins. So you can talk with one of this. This is a community moderator. You can talk with one of these persons, some of these other persons, admins, 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 and then ask for help. Okay, and the other thing you can do is to click on support, help center, and raise a ticket that you have not been receiving tax. You submit, you submit a request. And then, um, Asking for country, I think I'm almost there. So you click on empty queue. Now that you come to your level, you're in Tasca, project name. If you don't have any project name, you can choose NA. Or no, no, other. I see. It doesn't search for us. Okay. So keep searching. I'm looking for non applicable. Right. Number of tax. So 
zero. Then you write But this must only be done after you have completed training of tasks that are, are available. Then you submit. So they are going to respond to you within at least 12 hours. At least 12 hours they are going to respond to you. Another issue is you are not your your works are not accurate and then you get banned um you get to see emails like like this emails with a performance issue We got to see emails like this. Hello, Lua John. We regret, we regret to inform you that due to low accuracy and speed issues, you have been automatically disabled from Melon Enterprise interruption tax. This decision is not reversible. So when you have low accuracy and speed issues, you can be disabled for a tax. And if that is one of the few tax that are available at that moment, you may not be able to get tax within that moment again. So what I advise people to do, take your tax serious, go to the training very well, learn everything very well. When you have good accuracy and you have good speed, they will keep giving you tax. But when you have low accuracy and low speed, there will be less of tax available for you. So here we go um, in this account. Sometimes when you click on start tax, what they bring out is a training or something for you to do. So now go to training center to enable. So when I go to training center and I do finish training, then the tasks get available in my task queue. I think that's how it works now, okay? Now, thirdly, there are some persons that do not see training on their board. And the reason is just this. When you use VPN and you switch to US because the U.S. guys are the guys making a lot of money right now. And you want to go to U.S., the training board will be removed from your queue, from your um, from the navigation bar. So let's see it. Let's see how it works. I am clicking on U.S. Automatically, it's going to log me out. It's going to log me out, and I'm going to try to log in again. It's going to ask me to accept cookies after I try to log in. I'm going to accept the cookies. Now, it still shows training. Now, listen, fail to fetch Elite, Elite status error, not a RTE user. So, anyway, we go on. And then we cancel you see the training is gone the training is no longer there so if you are in the us you don't have training but you know you need to feel some things about your degree and all of that in your account so that you could get um tax some persons don't know that that you need to feel um your qualification on your remote tax account if you are from the us and you need to um, verify your account with an identity card and a full number and your face. So we're going to, when we log out now and then go back to the other account, you will find the training there. So for US, you cannot train, you can only get tax. And I learned that you can apply for tax, request for tax um, 
using your CV or something like that from the US. I'm not so sure since I'm in Nigeria and I don't have such facility. That is how it works. So if you are also maybe in Kenya or in um, other states and you want to use the US uh, aid to work, what I would advise you to do is to go back to your Nigeria or Kenya or wherever you are, finish your training. After you finish the training and you are given the task, then you go back to USA and then work as a USA. And don't change your account. Leave it at USA until you are until all the work you have worked is settled in your payment dashboard. For instance, you have worked for about thirty or forty dollars. You have to wait for that forty dollars to be written in your pending payment before switching back to Nigeria, so that it will read as though you worked in the U.S. and it will be calculated that way. I believe I've shared with you how to get tax and get them your task queue. I don't think I'm forgetting anything other than this. Don't forget, I'm working on my series and it will be coming out soon. We're also beginning our podcast, Begin Your Journey, where we'll be talking about starting a new branch or starting a job or starting something new to make money. And then we'll be talking about a lot of things on how to make money online. And the series is also coming out very soon. Be patient. It's going to be beautiful. If this is your first time or you've been visiting and you have not subscribed to this channel, now is the right time to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and click on the notification button. We'll have more and more content for you. I take charge.